senior run. Um, Port of God has never done anything like this before. Um, and we hope it becomes a long-standing tradition. Also, um, I want to say thanks to a couple people who weren't on the programs. Um, Reem, Hanoon, and Althea Kalman for doing helping with hair and makeup today, and also Craig for helping with the set yesterday. Um, without further ado, we'll get the show started. Wait, I think I've got some. 
Uh, that last record on the bar, the orange color. It's called Marching and Murdering the Susan or something. This one? That's it. The band of cold stream guard. I do. Put it on. How, how do you switch it on? Uh, the last knob on the left. That's it. Uh, let us pray. Dear Lord, <laughs> let this evening go all right. Let Mr. Bam look like my work and buy some. Let the monster fall like you. And let my neighbor, Carol Ford, never discover that we borrow this precious, precious furniture behind his back. Amen. Dog? 
well. That's not very funny, Daddy. Sorry, Dumpling. Speak as you find. We wish you wouldn't call me Dumpling. Well, there's no point wasting this. You may need it later. Don't be afraid, Miss Dumpling. We'll be back in a minute with the candle. And then I'll, I'll leave, of course. I wouldn't want to be in the way. Oh, not at all. So we so 
certainly must, Miss Noble. Well, let's all have a drink. Cheers up, huh? Good idea, darling. Mr. Gordon, would you like a drink? Oh, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Not after the journey I have. I swear to God, there were 35 people in that compartment. There was one. Eight in arms, toddlers, two nuns, three yapping noodles, and not a sausage to eat for a living day for London. It's a bloody disgrace. We <laughs> think they put on a restaurant car, Mr. Gordon. Oh, not them, then. They don't care from Paris, they call it. Excuse me, how's she going to eat? She's the cat, No, I must not be back anyway. Uh, just stay. Well, you know, I hate to keep clothes in a suitcase longer than I absolutely have to. Because one thing I can't stand is grease suit. Furthermore, Mr. Gordon, surely you are not forcing me. Well, what would you like, Mr. Gordon? We hear all the Come again. We will speak get or go, dear old damn my ships. I can see you're a camper. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll have a drop of Jenny with a little lime juice, please. Hello, my dear young man, you're in the emergency. Oh, God, Mr. Gordon. My oh. name is my luxury, so you stand up, please. But get it all. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Carol, can I have a word with you, please? Uh, I'm here. We'll just, we'll just be a minute, Colonel. Carol? Oh, it's so exciting, Mr. Gordon. You'll never guess who's coming here tonight. Who? Yes. Yes, I've always imagined they must be much 
not so rare, Tom. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, the old days, the regiment, 
Uh, the Spanish smudge berries. Do you hear? I may see. I may not go deeper. What did you say? <laughs> I was just saying, if I keep groping about up here in the dark like this, I may bump my teeth in. Uh, uh, not a when it's the only explanation of something you've got yourself engaged to a lunatic. There's something going on up there, and I'm coming up to find out what it is. <coughs> Carol, no! I know you're hiding something. I know such a fool as you take me for. You're going to go to see the very folks ahead. Uh, Carol, no. That's not very ladylike. I'm sure that the Colonel would be cool. Entering a man's bedroom in the dark. Yes, of course. You guys didn't want. You're obviously a great expert, sir. 
not at all. It was a strange idea. But standing in the dark, it is evident. The essential anguish of the world. The stress and the torment of our times. It is simple, but not simple minded. Ingenious, but not ingenuous. Above all, it has real moral force. Of how many words can one say that to these people? None at all, really. I hope I do not lecture. It could be a fault of me. Not at all. I didn't do all that. It's so profound. Me too. Really? I don't know very much about it myself, but it's a great honor to listen to you, sir. You mean to say, you do all that and I don't A tiny bit of that is that is the point. A miracle of impression. If you ask me, this boy is a genius. A master of the universe. In space from math class, we realize two things he wants. The black virginity of shot train. The white corrality of topic. Wunderbar. I don't know how to make songs that work like this, Mr. Miller. They should be very, very expensive. What's this one, for example? How much is this? Fifty. Five. Ah, so very cheap. Alas, no more time to linger when the last I must work. Also, I suppose this discovery is sufficient to glimpse milk and honey. One does not have to devour the world. Well? Well? Well, would you like it then? Certainly. If I had it. If I had it. What is that Sunday? Toil. You must be worth at least 17 million pounds. <laughs> the Sunday papers are notoriously unimportant. According to my last bank statement, I was worth 100 pounds, 8 shillings, and 4 pence. <laughs> I don't have to look. No, I can't never add any more. And I don't think that's supposed to be eccentric, but it's becoming tiresome. Daddy! Nearly there. Who do you think I am? Kind of man, you must know who you are. Let's do that, though. Is this a kind of a joke night today? Bamberg, is that his not my name? It isn't. No, my name is Schumpanzi. Franz Schumpanzi. Born in Weimar, 1904, student of the Heidelberg School of Philosophy, 1935. Refugee to this country, 1938, and regular employment ever since with the London Electricity Board. Ah, it's, it's a little 
The, the wash maids must have gone now. Oh, good God. Uh, yes, uh, that must be. Don't die, there's someone else here. Oh, Lord. Who's there? Come on, I know you're there. Is that you, Miss Furnival? Who? Uh, Miss Furnival, my cleaning woman. Cleaning woman? Yes, she does it on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, I just remember, she rang up earlier and said she'd be by around six. Does I have it, man? It's almost eleven. She's not that conscientious. She couldn't be. Not these days. Let's find out if it's her, uh, Mrs. Potter. Oh, no, no, don't interrupt her, sir. She doesn't like to be disturbed when she's working. Well, why don't we just leave her to pop around upstairs? That's her. Let's find out if it's her first, Mrs. Potter. Mrs. Potter!
mercy for the insults you've offered her tonight. Oh, hi, sir. You have raised your gutter's nice voice and kitty scream for mercy and forgiveness. Thank you too soon. I wouldn't have been to Oh, I'd have been to you. 
Inconceivably, inexhaustibly, inextinguishably, and 